What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode two. So, recap from last time, what we did is we went ahead and took everything off of the golf cart. We actually went and cleaned and resprayed it um, since the last time we recorded. So now that this is completely stripped down and cleaned, we have a cleaner canvas to work with. So as you come over here, you can see we've got all of our parts that we need to refinish. So we've got the, two, the rear bumper and the front bumper. We've got the, back, the rear motor cover. This is the back tray. And then we have the front piece. And then we have the main body piece right here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get it all ready, do some body work, prep it for paint. So what we need to do is we have to remove a lot of this pinstriping, which we've already begun to do. So we're gonna remove that. We have to make sure that we tape these things off here so that we can use them for the next time they're painted. So we have obviously those, the manufacturer, the VIN code, things like that. And then what we need to do is sand this all down to where it's nice and smooth. Get rid of all the rivet holes. So we've got to fill that with some body filler. And then right here, what we need to do, we have to drill out these tail lights because we got some new LED tail lights for it. So we're fortunate like the whole body is not broken. It actually is pretty solid still, but it just needs to be obviously filled with all the various holes because we're not going to put these caps back on it because they're just those no step caps. And we're actually going to put a seat back here that's mounted over top, so they're really not necessary. So we need to sand it, wet sand it, and then basically get it to where it's all smooth, fill all the holes. And then what we need to do is uh, basically get it ready for paint. And we'll do that on not only this piece, but the front piece, the bumpers. So the color, what we're gonna to decide to do on it is we're gonna go ahead and do the orange like we mentioned in the previous video on the vein body, which is this piece and that front piece. All the pieces that were originally black, we're gonna to return to that. We're going to sand and take as much paint off of these as possible. So if they ever get scratched, that it'll just reflect black so black scrap paint scratched off will show black plastic. So and given that it's bumpers, it's probably gonna have some kind of, um, I don't know, fender bender with a wall or whatever the case is. So better that it doesn't look all scuffed up and beat up after a very short amount of time. So we're going to clean these up all, and we're going to paint them, go with the matte black on this, and then we'll go with the orange here. Over here, we're gonna to have to keep the sides of these on because they are riveted and I really don't feel like tearing them off and then having to go get a whole new rivet set just to put them back on. They are um, easy to sand and then what we can do is remove the decals with some razor blades or my finger. As you can see, it's coming off pretty simply right here. Well, it's actually just a piece of tape. But we'll take this off and then we'll sand, we'll actually paint this orange, this, or this, sorry, the yellow piece here orange as well. All the overspray back here, this will all return back to black. Um, overspray underneath the chassis and I was obviously out up here on the front of the forks. And sorry, the, the A, A arms and then the shocks, we're going to clean that all up. Probably pressure wash it to get the grease off, but also um, remove a lot of the, the components so that we can actually paint them and where they don't look, look like they have overspray all over them. So once it's slapped back together, it'll all look good at all angles. We also need to take these off. We need to paint the wheels on the inside and out. So when we put our new hubcaps on them, we got the little chrome mag wheels for it. Um, it doesn't show this overspray or this cream color through it. And then we need to do our best to get rid of this. If we can't, we'll just use some matte black paint to go around it. And usually I found that that works the best. So. All in all, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start doing some wet sanding, getting everything prepped for the, uh, the, final, the final paint. And so that's the goal. So let's get to it.
little update. We uh, getting down to the original color, getting all the old pinstriping scraped off with the razor blades, getting the old carpet hold, uh, holders knocked out. Still got this side to do still. Gotta drill out the tail lights. It's not as bad as some plate, some of them we've seen, but I mean, it's starting to come out pretty smooth. We have to do this in several phases. The first is gonna be about a 220 grit. The second phase is gonna be a 400, and then we're gonna go up from there, 600 to 1,000, um, just so we can get it to where it's nice and smooth. Then we'll get body filler, come in here and fill all these little holes that were drilled originally just to put some kind of riveted thing on there, which I believe was probably some kind of thing for cold weather. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Okay, so we're gonna do the matte black on the bumper. Uh, bumpers the front and rear, and then also we're going to go ahead and spray the interior of the tray. We're gonna light sand and scuff this so that we're just gonna go ahead and paint it back. So we're gonna restore it back to its original color. So we're gonna go and paint that, and then we're gonna also paint the Batman lid that's down here, paint it back as well. So everything we paint that back to the uh, original color, that way, if we ever get any fender benders or scuffs, it doesn't show a color through it. So, let's get to painting. done putting the final coat on all of the bumpers, the back uh, motor plate, and then the tray. So now we just got to let that dry. These are going to be matte black, so it'll look really well. We got to do obviously the chassis, the front suspension, things like that, the same color. So we'll let that dry and we'll get to the next one. I need you to hear and don't show anything. I've been flying from town to town. Hey guys, so what we're gonna do is, on the actual tire, it looks like they use some kind of paint here, so it's hard to get that off. In fact, practically impossible. So what I've done in the past is kind of like a little bit of a hack and it works and it doesn't come off. I usually get a, very, a flat black. So you can get a flat black, it doesn't have to be expensive. And basically what you, you do is you just paint the entire sidewall and then let it cure, which this stuff is a quick dry and then that's pretty much it. And it refinishes the side of the tire. So it fixes any kind of blemishes or whatever the case is, or if you just have a tire that just got a lot of just dinge to it, 
if you want to kind of make this tire look refreshed or get rid of this amateur paint job on here but still use a tire because they're practically new so we want to keep it that way so i'm going to show you how i do that real quick so obviously we've already shaken the can up so what we want to do here is we just want to kind of paint away from the rim and you just kind of blend it into the tread as i'm going i'm hitting a little bit on the edge of the rim because this rim was white so i'm going to come over here and get rid of that color and just kind of blend it up into the tread so therefore it looks like a fresh tire gets rid of the paint job or whatever nonsense you're trying to deal with and that's how we get rid of that so we just paint it get rid of the crap off the side of the tire and that's pretty much it come in here just do a couple quick bursts be, be controlled with your with your sprayer nozzle but since we're using a matte black wheel and a flat back it'll all blend so there's your little tip and hack now you can see it's a little bit wet still but totally different and it looks way better when it's done so we're gonna go ahead and let this dry and we'll mount it on the car Right, we got the front end all cleaned up, repainted, got the wheels painted on the inside and the out, took the shocks off, repainted them, bearings all check out, got rid of that uh, yellow stripe on the outside of the tire. Um, we went ahead and cleaned off the tie rods, so if you come inside here, you can check that we went and pulled all the paint off of those. So everything looks a lot cleaner and nicer, so once it comes together, it'll look better. Now we're in the middle of going ahead and take off the rear tires and do the same process. We're going to go ahead and paint the yellow overspray on the back fenders and uh, we're going to get it put back together too. So on to the next. up uh, episode two so you did all the body work and now the next step will be to be painting it and putting it back together so it's been a fun project everybody's been involved everybody's hands are dirty our shirts look good too so appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video